Live from a far, far away galaxy, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, scary buddy. Well, actually, it's from the live from the Death Star. But what in the parts from the Death Star? You see, you're in the. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna ruin the surprise. <laughs> Contains original movie scenes, plus Darth Vader footage you've never seen before. Interactive VHS cassette for a different game every time. Well, not anymore, because this is a game of the past, and it's a vintage game, and, um... You're gonna have to get something off the internet or something like that to play this game. Unless you know how to play by your... Would you stop and just get on with the show? Okay, fine. Play the game. Play the tape. I'm sorry, I gotta do something. Remember when one flew over the cuckoo's nest with Jack Nicholson and uh, Christopher Lloyd? Play the game! Play the game! Play the game! Play the tape! Play the game! Laugh box. <laughs> if you think it's funny, I do. See, Doc Vader, he can see you. He could see you. I could see you. Can you see me? Well, of course you could see me. You watched my show. Jeez. Play again, again, again. <laughs> Assault on the Death Star. And there's, there's other things to read, too, but I don't want to go through them all. All right, maybe I will. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, steers his course to destroy the Rebel planet with an R2-D2, with an R2 droid to help you. Search the Death Star's outer level, collecting cards and planting explosives. The Empire's best stormtroopers search the corridors and rooms around the battle station. Key security systems have been damaged. Rebels move up the, to the level... Uh, sorry. Bloopers. To the inner level to plant your final three ex explosives. Explosives, then. I know, I know. I, I can read that. Explosives. One of, the, one of you rebels succumbs to the power of the dark side. You become Darth Vader's pupil. The Death Star's super laser is almost within firing range. Will you disable the Death Star in time? Uh, don't slam it down, you break it. I might be able to beat this game in time. Well, if I don't, if I can just stop talking. I know sometimes I talk too much. But that's a part of the show. I'm trying to entertain you when you watch TV. Don't you want to be entertained? In this episode, and it's about freaking time. Shut up, you. Star Wars, the interactive video board game. The, the interactive video board game. The board game. Quick, to the board game room. All right, here we go. Look at this stuff. This is great. Look at all this stuff. It's like a playset. Like a like you with the with the minute where the miniature figurines. Let me at them. Wow, cool. You get all these player marker figures here of R2-D2. And what's this? You get the characters from the movie. And they're all in living color. Remember that show? I used to watch the show like crazy. So anyway, so, oh, I, that's how I got crazy. No, I'm kidding. I didn't watch the show. I get crazy from watching in living color. I got crazy because I'm born that way. I'm born to rock and roll. I'm born to be wild. Uh, somebody already has that, but anyway, you get all these pieces here. Look, you get to put together like a playset of a board game. The board game. And then, what's this? That it's not an adult film of Star Wars, that's for sure. It's just the film of Star Wars of the board game Star Wars. Besides, I don't do that other stuff. Uh, that's not right now. Anyway, so... <laughs> what do you call it? Um, It's the... Uh, VHS tape, and back in the day, used to get a video cassette tape that used to put in 
to this machine called a you know a, a VCR, and then um, you get to watch the film that's on here on the boob tube, you know, on the uh, that's a TV. That's how we say old school, you know, back in the day. But then, and you play these cards and everything, and you do what the, what the video tells you to do. But now you could probably upload it on your cell phones and stuff and your computers, and then you could probably just uh, play the game like you play in one of those new app style games. You know, you get like like you load up an app on your um on your phone, and you could play games like uh, that new game that's out, uh, Last Defense, or you could play um, the Lord of the Rings, that big time big box Lord of the Rings game they sell at Barnes and Noble or something. Pretty cool. So, um, you're gonna get these, uh, yeah, well, well, this side took off the, uh, you yeah, know, frames, of the, that's the figures. <laughs> but you're gonna get these, uh, tokens in here, too, and I'll, you know, show you uh, how to play the game. There's all meters in here and stuff that you can go from zero to, like, ten and like, Mach 5. That's if you're a big Jedi Master, of course. But then otherwise, other than that, that's pretty much basically it. Let's see what this uh, board game can do besides, you know, have me ranting and rave about it. It's all the rage, you know. Hey, here's a joke for you. Um, why was the old man always angry? Because it was all the rage. <laughs> all right, let's go. I'm going to set this baby up and um, we're going to... um. Play the Star Wars game. Well, you're going to learn how to play the Star Wars game. The board game. Okay, let's go. Oh, I actually really thought I got like a free movie with this, but it's not. It, 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 obviously, it's not the free movie if it's the VHS uh, board game. It's the video cassette board game, you know? So, but anyway, let, let's go see um, uh, how to play this game. Oh, and check this out, too. It's a commercial. It's an advertisement. And then it's a card game that used to be back in the day. It's a uh, Star Wars two-player customizable card game. Now we got stuff like this nowadays, too. This was the first of its kind. Okay, so in this game... You're going to get a big, huge, trifold playing board. Okay? It opens up like a book. Or like uh, your kitchen cabinets. If, if you got any. I don't know. But anyway, that's it. So you're going to start over here. And then you're going to... But where's the rest of the Death Star? Ta-da! Like magic, it disappeared. You put the Force cards there. You put the Data cards there. Where are the force cards and the data cards? Oh, wait. I want to do this. <laughs> Ta-da! Just imagine I did that before. And then you'll know what I'm talking about and why I did it. Okay, you get all the magic cards. Wait. I didn't put this... Hey. I gotta put that on the bottom. Hold on. Then I'll do it again. Okay, there we go. I know, it doesn't really look like a change, but, like, uh, that's what goes down there. I forgot to put that in there. But anyway, it's it. Uh, so you're going to get these player market pieces here. You get these miniatures and everything. And they're really cool, too, because uh, these R2-D2s, they, they, they move. Or these R2s move. So you could position them, and they could, you know, get in position to go around. See? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can't do that one. Anyway, so you're gonna get them they're all Jedi Masters here. Okay? And you're gonna get a whole uh, half a dozen of them. You get six of them. You get these chits too. Oh, and they come with their power meters too. Okay? Or a power meter of some sort. I'll get to that later on. You get these tokens here, whatever. Okay, I'll tell you what these are about. You get these chits that match the same color play marker that you're going to be in the game. Just like how these meters match, um, or these gauges match um, the same play marker color that 
you're going to be in the game, whichever one you choose to be. And then you're going to get these cards here. You're going to get data cards, force cards, and rebel cards, okay? So the data cards, you know, they'll be like, looking like this, they'll have like live footage and pictures of it, like in the movie, okay? And uh, I'll tell you what they all do, all right? So I'm not going to go over what every single card, you know, reads on there, you know? Sorry, but you're going to have to buy it yourself in order to try it and find out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, if you want to get it, get it. If not, you know, but um, I just got to um, get through this video now. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, what those cards do, though, but not, you know, I'm not going to show you, like, every single detail of every single card. Okay, so you're going to get, like, combat training, you know, pupil, you know, cards like that. So, all right. The, those are the force cards, and these are the rebel mission cards. Okay, you're gonna get uh, what? Okay, you're gonna get adverts for uh different games and stuff. <laughs> that Star Assault 3D board game, yeah, that's that's this one, right? The Assault on the Death Star. Oh well. Oh, I know what game that is. That's a cool one. It's like a big toy. And then, you know, you, you, you're playing with, you know, the game on the, um, Death Star and you, you, you're, you're going through, um, with the Millennium Falcon. It's, it's a big to do, but it's a cool game though. Risk. Yeah. Okay. You're going to get these. All right. So here are, uh, the rail mission cards. So each player is going to get a mission. Okay. Two three, four, five, yeah, there's six of them, so it's for each player to choose one, and then you're gonna get this special die here, which is cool, you get a stormtrooper on it, and then you're gonna get to roll three, six, four, two, five, and then the one is gonna be the stormtrooper, okay, and you get these chits I told you about, all right, you get these space on the board here that go around, everybody's gonna start here, the docking bay, all right, and enter in through, and then uh, you're gonna be going through. You got the detention block, primary control center, all these different rooms, just like in the movie. And uh, you know, for whatever they can condense it down to into a board game, you're also gonna get the stormtrooper uh, play a marker piece, and this guy's gonna be coming after you in the game. You know, or you might bump into them. So, you know, you might bump into that character. Uh, I'm looking for more of these figurines to put in the game to add more to the challenge. So, probably like a few more. That's all. But anyway, you got to make it to the top and do your thing and rescue uh, the universe and existence, whatever. <laughs> And uh, rescue the universe and defeat the um, the Death Star. So now you're going to put your um, Force cards here. Okay, and your Data cards here. Alright, so you're going to have the cards there and the cards there. Too much talking. Too much talking. Just say the rule to the show. To, to the game. <laughs> Well, it's my show, so, you know, however I want to do the show, I'll do the show, and I'll be more than happy to give you the rules and instructions of this game, the way I want to have it in my show. So now, you're going to have these cards here, these are blank, you can just discard them. I mean, don't throw them out in the garbage, because it's a part of the game, it's cool to have. But I'm just going to toss them in there. And then I'll take them back. Now you're going to have the instructions now. This might be a two-part episode. So, because it was too much talking. <laughs> that, like, this this isn't, um you know, like going back to school and the teacher's yelling at you. That, you know, this is, you know, there's too much talking. This is my show. <laughs> so, I'm going to do my show the way I want. All right. So, no need to wonder why I'm saying that. 
But anyway, it's it. So now I, you know, sometimes I get some, you know, comments down below. But I don't know. What else is there to do? You want to make it entertaining, right? So, so far it's been quite enough without that um, sound effects box. All right. So anyway, uh, you got to build these R2s, all right? And you got to build this up here, this part of the this Death Star here. And uh, that's basically it. So now get ready to play. You're going to position the game board in front, of your, uh, in front of the television so that every player can see the screen clearly. Or if you get this, you can get this on your um, your cell phone or something like that. You could probably find it. Yeah, I'm just going to say it, you know, so I, you know, give them mad props and respect for uh, doing that. that. That's pretty cool. Uh, they got this video. You could probably find it online. So, uh, if not, you could probably, you know, um, I'll figure something out. But anyway, um, separate the mission data and force cards, shuffle them up into individual decks and place them in the spaces where they belong. Deal one mission card to each player and keep this card face up in front of you. Place any unused mission cards out of play. Place the triangular combat discs near the board. That's these things right here. Okay. So, um, now you're going to, uh, at the start of the game, give each player one rebel figure and an R2 droid of the same color that they are going to be. And six matching colored explosives. Okay. So that, that's these. These chits are the explosives. Okay. So now, uh... One force level indicator with matching slider color to record dark side points. That's these things that, over here, these meters I told you about before. Okay, so now, uh, position your, um, your pieces as follows. You're going to put your rebel figure in a docking bay. Alright, so the player is going to be in the docking bay. I'll just put these for now here. Alright. And, uh, what you're going to do is um, you're going to set the sliders on your force level indicator to zero. Okay? And then you're going to set uh, the stormtrooper figure in the stormtrooper control center. Okay? And that's going to be the control center, stormtrooper control center. That's the sensor control center. Stormtrooper Control Center. You gotta put him right there. Alright, so he's foaming at the mouth, ready to, ready to do battle. Alright. Alright. So now, um... Uh... You gotta... The videotape will run continuously throughout the game. So stop it only when players win the game. Okay, when a player wins the game. You're gonna insert the videotape into the video, video cassette player. But do not start it yet. Or you're going to set up the game where we could set it up when you're online on the computer or whatever and look for this um, uh, game. Because it's only fair enough that I tell you. Otherwise, you can't really play this game. If you really want to get this game, get it. But just know that, you know, if you don't have a VCR that works, then that tape's not going to be playing anything. And you're going to want to play the game. So search online. You could probably find it and find a video for it. And, uh, you know, just, um, you know, type in the name of this game and, um, search it up on, uh, on the computer and you could probably, you know, look up the video and find it and then play it like that. And then you would just have to pause the video, you know, however you would pause it, you know, with your mouse on your computer or with, your, um, you know, your cell phone, if you're watching it on your cell phone, they probably also have an app for this game too so like um somebody probably had to make one and uh it's either a free app or one that you'll be charged for but that's it so now um you're gonna um uh you so you're gonna yeah you're gonna put your explosives and force level indicator in front of you okay put your r2 droids in the droid repair center put your rebel figure in the docking bay so 
the rep, um, the repair center, droid repair center right here. So you're gonna put them in there, and that's it. Okay. So they're gonna come out in the game soon in a little while. So um, mission specifics: how to successfully disable the Death Star. Your mission is to destroy the Death Star's main systems before it destroys the Rebel planet. To complete your mission, you must plant all six of your explosives that you have. Okay. Um, uh, around the Death Star in the exact order. Okay. That they are set out on your mission card. So on your mission cards, you're going to notice and see that... Um, Rebel mission card, say for example, this one, and uh, plant explosive devices in outer level security control center. It's going to tell you and show you where to put them, okay? And that's that, red and purple, all right? So, now, um, when planting your explosives, uh, you must plant your first three explosives in the rooms located on the outer level track of the Death Star, Okay? And then, plant explosives 4 and 5 in the rooms located on the inner level track around here. Okay? And But you only but only when Lord Vader grants you access. So he'll say to you on the video when to do that. You know? Uh, so you got... It's kind of like Simon Says in a way in this game. But a little bit different. So you must plant your final explosive on the reactor core access panel. Okay? Now, uh, the game board represents the Death Star and is divided into three sections. You have an outer level, inner level, and reactor core. Okay? So, playing the game, you're going to be moving around the Death Star, and on your turn, you will roll a die. Okay? So, when you roll a die, you get a three. You're just going to move three spaces in. So, you'll be like, one, two, three. Follow the arrows. You're going to be going clockwise around the board. Okay? So, now... um. If you roll a number, you can move your rebel figure or your droid that number of spaces. So to learn how to start your droid, I'll tell you how to do that so you can learn how to, you know, exit it out of your the droid repair center. Okay? And uh, now, um, if you land on another rebel, take a data card, a data card from that player. So if you're going to, if, if you land on the same space as somebody else, you're going to take a rebel card, okay, uh, a, a data card, okay, you're going to take the data card from that player, though, okay, so now if you roll a stormtrooper symbol, you move the stormtrooper forward three spaces, so whenever you roll this uh, symbol here, the stormtrooper head, you're going to move the stormtrooper out the room, and you're going to move it, um, Three you're going to move it forward three spaces. So you'll be going following the arrows. One, two, three. Okay? And then you're going to be... I don't know if... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the uh, Stormtrooper does when it lands on certain spaces. But I don't think it does anything at all. I think it just wants to kick... Um, you know, <laughs> I was about to say. It just wants to catch up to you and kick your ass. So... But that's pretty much basically it. And then it puts you in a detention center or something. Because you've been bad. Trying to thwart the evil plans of Darth Vader. He's getting really mad. Sounds like he gets mad too when he breathes heavy. Oh, oh. Either that or he's got a bad hairball and he's really a cat. <laughs> All right, so um, I'll tell you more about the game in a little bit. Okay, in in the next episode.